Cody, welcome back home after a crazy eventful road trip in Waco and in Orlando. You get your first Big 12 win. How has your team managed that first success in conference? You know, I think the guys were really excited. Um, I mean, it was like a seven-hour trip coming back, um, but it was a happy flight coming back, um, you know. And the crazy thing is we just came to a one-day prep here for Iowa State. So our guys were able to enjoy that time, enjoy their Sunday, and then Monday we got right back into it. But, you know, it's, it's every game you're just like, oh, my gosh, it's just getting tougher and tougher, which is awesome. That's what this league's all about. That's what we're so excited about. So I think our guys, you know, they really enjoyed it, but they're also like, hey, we got to keep this thing rolling. We, we got to get this Iowa State team, you know. You and I have discussed the phrase mental warfare when it comes to preparing for Big 12 play. You mentioned the off day Sunday, one day, and now Iowa State. What's the most difficult part about that quick turnaround? The difficult part is just the nuances of this team, you know, or uh, of this Iowa State team. And they're just, they just play a little bit different than some of the other teams in the league. Um, they got some really talented guards, like every team in this league does. So just get to know this kind of personnel, and, and they're the number one steals team in the country in the league. In, I mean, they're the number one steals team in the country. So uh, our guys just got to focus to protect that ball, and, you know, there's, there's, there's only so much time to get in their head, so you're just trying to make it, you know, this, as simple as you can for them. What's the best way to prepare for a team that, as you mentioned, steals the ball a ton? Number one there. They're number one in defensive turnover percentage in the Ken Palm Index. So what's the best way to prepare for a team that gets after it like that? Yeah, so like uh, on Monday, we kind of showed them where they're getting most of their steals. You know, they got three really talented guards that get their hands on everything. And we kind of show them where they get in in gaps. And anytime on ball pickups, they're trying to strip you. Uh, they're trying to blow up dribble handoffs. Um, all the different ways that they kind of get steals. And then we showed our guys how we were successful against guys that did those sorts of things. Um, so we try to show them exactly what they're doing and how we've done it and how we've attacked it before. So that's something that we're really, um, you know, excited to protect this ball tonight. As you look at how the points are scored for this BYU offense, you're not getting to the free throw line a ton. Does that matter to you? And if so, how are you addressing that? I mean, yes, of course it matters. You know, there's there's different ways that we're going to try to maybe get to the free throw line here and there. Um, but our biggest strength is our three-point shooting at the end of the day and our wedge rebounding and us playing fast in transition. You know, we can't be like every other team in the Big 12. You know, they've got these really dynamic, dynamic guards that can get downhill and beat everybody off the bounce. We are just a great team ball. You know, we pass the ball, we share it, we make the extra pass. We make plays for each other. That's how we're going to be really successful. So we need to keep with what makes us successful. We're, you know, we're top 20 team offensively, and that's how it is. That's the, how we're going to be great. And um, you know, this we've had a couple games where the balls hasn't gone in our favor, but what we do best is we shoot the three and we wedge rebound. Like I said, we go to the offensive glass and we play really fast. So if we can protect the ball, we have a chance to win a lot of games in this league. From a personnel standpoint, how's the health of the team and? <laughs> Who's not available tonight? So we got a couple guys dinged up right now. Uh, Trevor Nell's not going to play tonight. Um, you know, Foose is still a game time decision. What's going on there? Um, but those are the two main guys that have played in the last couple games that, that are going to be, we're not sure yet, on Foose. So. Cody, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight against Iowa State. All right, appreciate you.